Now the House of Mandela, the Dembekile Mandela Foundation and the UN South Africa are launching Leading Like Mandela, an African leadership summit in Johannesburg in Santon this evening. The summit is part of events marking the 100th birthday of the late statesman. Let's go live now to Santon where our reporter Dagawana Ngatane is standing by. Very good evening to you Dagawana. Uh, just take us through the build up through this evening's event. Well, good evening, Shante. This, as you've indicated, is part of the centenary of the late former president, Nelson Mandela. Now, his eldest son was Tembekile Mandela, who died in a car crash, we understand, at the age of 24. And when he died, his father, former president Nelson Mandela, was still in prison on Robben Island. And his granddaughter, Ndileka Mandela was four years old at the time. She is the one who has started a foundation in the name of her father and it is this foundation that is today launching a leadership program that is called Leading Like Mandela. And of course it is to look at the leadership qualities that he you know, embodied and, and to impart them to younger people in South Africa and to ensure that those leadership qualities are exercised. But you remember that the former president also has something called the Mandela Washington Fellow and this is a program that was started with the United States of America and former president Barack Obama there so this is the African version I suppose of that but to look at two key areas education and health and of course today we're expecting the United Nations Deputy Secretary General Amina Mohammed to deliver the keynote address we're also expecting Grasa Michelle to be present at this event. But let me talk to the UNDP resident or UNDP country director, Walid Badawi, um, about why it is that you felt it was important to get involved in this program. Thank you. Um, leadership is so crucial to achieve the global goals, the sustainable development goals. We know that the nature of these goals require people that have a sensitivity to certain values, certain principles, certain ethics that will enable societies to advance. Um, so when we were approached by the Tembekile Mandela Foundation uh, to see if we can partner uh, with them to give scale and international uh, prominence to a leadership program that is tailored to someone who the world knows is one of the leaders, uh, the, the iconic leaders. So we felt that as a, a vehicle to accelerate the achievement of the goals, we want to partner. The UN has a lot of experience also in working on transformational leadership. Uh, we've applied transformational leadership for development outcomes across many areas, HIV, AIDS, gender, many of the taboos require a, a certain leadership that is able to transform from within, create a sense of commitment, emotional connection with the issues to advance them forward. What are some of the activities that we can expect this particular program to embark on? Well, a lot of it is really going to be around bringing young people to um, instill some of the, the values that Madiba himself uh, embraced. This will Will take the form of um, classroom sessions where there'll be um, regular education sessions, there'll be round tables, there'll be fireplace discussions. So the activities will be varied. The whole goal is really to expose those young uh, people to, to those values and to remind them of how important these are as they become leaders, because not everybody will be a, a, a leader in the Mandela sense where they're leading a country, but all of us in our own spaces are leaders. So we want to create space, be it in a classroom, be it uh, in the village, be it uh, in a university setting, to actually allow these young people to internalize these values. Thank you very much. The UNDP country director telling us about the activities that are expected to be embarked on by this particular program that's being launched here today. But of course at the center of that is the values that the former president Nelson Mandela embodied as a leader, but also in the African sense of being a leader. Shante? Thank you very much. Let's leave it there, at least for now. For SABC News in Santon, Dagoan and Gatane, of course, uh, standing by taking us through that.